I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making quick and easy crepes. Basically crepes are just a thin pancake. I find that people who cook find crepes to be troublesome sometimes, but I promise you they're super easy and with a little bit of technique they just become easier. Crepes come in two basic categories, sweet and savory. Today we're going to focus on the sweet. If you want to make these savory, you can just take the sugar and vanilla out and this recipe will work just fine. For my crepes, this is what you're going to need. Milk, I'm using like a 2% milk. Eggs, flour, all-purpose flour. Melted butter, salt, sugar, and vanilla extract. One thing I love about this crepe recipe is that it's quick and easy. Uh, basically just dumping everything in, blending it up, making your crepes. Now, you could do more difficult versions. There's versions that say you need to rest the batter and this and that. Uh, but I find that crepe batter has so much liquid in it, it's really hard to kind of develop the gluten in the flour. So for the most part, you're not going to have tough crepes if you use the batter right away. Just remember, this is a basic recipe. You can add to this, subtract from it. I'm using vanilla. You want to use orange rind. You want to use almond extract. You can kind of mess around with it. But it's a good, solid, basic recipe. Uh, I'm going to put all my wet ingredients in. Put my milk in. I'm going to put vanilla in now. I'm going to crack my eggs, put those in, let's do a double, double handed flex there. As always, the recipe will be in the description down below. I'm going to add my butter now. I'm going to add my salt and my sugar. Why do we add salt? Salt is a flavor enhancer. The crepes would be kind of flat without it, okay? And then I'm going to add my flour on top. Just dump it all in, nice and easy. I'm using an immersion blender. You can use a regular blender. You can use a whisk for this. I find the immersion blender works really well. Just buzz it up. So what I'm looking for in texture is a heavy cream consistency, right? Heavy cream consistency with no lumps, and I think that's what I have. If you look at it, it's beautiful. Nice heavy cream consistency. I'm gonna set this aside and set up our pan and start cooking these crepes. When I was in culinary school, we used iron pans for this. There were no nonstick pans. We were taught the classic way. I'm using a nonstick pan, right? A few reasons I like nonstick pans is that most people have them in their house, first of all. Second of all, if you're using the iron pans, you're making something that could be difficult, even more difficult. This makes it so much easier. You can use small stainless steel pans if you want, uh, but I'm gonna use my nice 10 inch uh, nonstick pan. I'm still gonna use some oil uh, just to kind of grease it up, but you'll see, it's just so much easier and less of a headache if you use this pan. So my pan is preheated. It's on kind of a low, medium low heat. I'm just gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan. So I'm gonna take a two ounce ladle. I usually pour it in one side and kind of coat the pan, right? Make sure that I coat the pan. I try and keep it moving until it sets, right? I try not to let it pool in one place. I want it to kind of set nice and even, nice and thin. I don't mind my crepes having a little bit of color on both sides. A light brown is fine. Uh, I remember when I was a uh, cook, you know, they'd want them super pale. I like a little bit of brown on these. I have a rubber spatula, and basically what you do is you just let it come off the sides. And this is where this nonstick pan pays off. Uh, I'll use my hands. You can use a spatula. You can just take the spatula, right? Turn it over, and there you go. This one's a little on the darker side. Basically, all I really want to do is let this set on the opposite side, on the second side, and then I'm going to stack them on a plate, right? And I put the plate upside down like this because when the crepes are on top, it's easier to pull like an individual crepe. There's no kind of like trying to pick up the crepe, right? It just kind of comes off a little easier, all right? So that's my first crepe. I let it dry out on that side. And then I'm just going to take it, slide it onto my plate, right? I'm not going to re-oil. I'm just going to get another two ounces of batter. Swirl it around really good. Make sure you swirl it. Get it as evenly as possible 
onto the pan and then let it go. Uh, and this is how it goes. You just keep on going and you keep on turning. Uh, when I was uh, in my last restaurant that I worked in, we would do like six pans at a time uh, just because, you know, you wanted to get a lot done. Um, but you can see like the end product is really nice. It's flexible. It's pliable. If you don't use your hand, you can always get like a fist spatula. Uh, make sure that it is uh, safe for um, nonstick pans. I don't really have any nonstick utensils, but a fist spatula works really well, right? So I see that my pan is getting a little dry. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil. I'm not too worried about it getting, every, uh, getting all over the pan. Two ounces of batter to put it on one side, swirl it around. Make sure you have no gaps, right? That's nice. You want this to be super thin, right? That's why I find with this 10 inch pan, two ounces of batter. Temperature control is all important here, right? If it's too high, they're gonna burn. If it's too low, it's just gonna sit there and dry out. So uh, you kind of have to play with it, right? The technique is getting the temperature right. You can see my flame is kind of at a medium low flame. Now that the pan is warmed up, it gets easier, right? Those first few crepes are always kind of a little wonky or weird looking, but once your pan heats up and stays hot, that's usually when this is um, going to start working for you. Right, nice light golden brown. I'm gonna get a nice stack of crepes. What I'll normally do is I'll make all of the crepe batter. I really don't save my crepe batter, but I do save the crepes. They wrap up, they'll be good the next day. You do have to warm them up a little, but make all the crepes, freeze some if you want to, because they freeze really well. So let me finish up making the crepes and then I'll show you what I do with them. Now that the crepes are done, I'm just gonna show you two different ways that I like to serve them. I have some raspberries and some strawberries over there. A Meyer lemon, Meyer lemons are in season. It's the winter right now. Nice Meyer lemon juice. Oh, so sweet and so delicious. I'm just gonna let the berries kind of macerate for a minute or two. Get them together. If they break up a little, that's good. We just want some of the juice to come out then. I'm gonna just mix this up. Let's put that aside, right? And then I have my cookie spread or my uh, Speculoos cookie butter. Now, most people, when they think of crepes, they think of like Nutella and stuff like that. I like to kind of go off on a little bit of a tangent. So I'm gonna use the cookie spread in here. I got a little whipped cream as well, right? <clears throat> so I'm just gonna take some of this cookie butter I'm gonna put it in the lower half. Get in there, right? Put it in the lower half here. Luckily, they're still a little warm, right? This is also why I like having these things on the back of the plate because they're easy kind of, you can like, just like dress them up. Come on, warm up just a little. Come on, buddy. You got it, right? A little bit of whipped cream. And then with this, I'm gonna just flip it over the top, squeeze it and quarter, put it in quarters. Right, let's do another one of those. It's a nice smear of the cookie butter. A little bit of whipped cream. Fold it, kind of just squeeze it out a little. Quarter it. Right, so there is that. I'll put something on top to make it look pretty. And then I'll get the berries. Just let them mix a little more. Right, the berries right in the center. We're gonna do like nice long ones here. A little bit of whipped cream. And we'll give these a little bit of a roll. One crepe. Give it a little roll. Right onto a plate. A little more berries. A little whipped cream. Roll them up. To like a nice cigar onto a plate. For the berries, I'm just gonna put a little berry on top, right? And that's it. That is crepes, baby. So it's the moment I've been waiting for. Let's give it a taste. I'm gonna try the berry ones first. Just remember, you can fill these with whatever you want. Be creative, have fun with it. I'm just doing something nice and simple. Uh, and here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the texture of the crepes are perfect. They're light, they're soft. They have a nice light vanilla flavor. You gotta make these. I hope you liked this video. If it did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. 
We have merch in the description down below. We have a PO box down there as well. As always, our recipe is down there too. I wanna to thank our Patreon patrons for supporting us. Thank you so much. And that's it. That's my quick and easy crepes. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.